Oh yeah, let's do this for like the 19th time. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Juicy Game Kona. Made in a temple in Thailand by monks. No, it's not. So anyway, here we are playing another 64 game requested by iCrayola. He, um, what? It's called Rugrat Scavenger Hunt. Uh, sorry, let me move the mouse. Anyway, oh my god, I don't know why, but apparently this game is cursed. Because I, first of all, I recorded the video, right? My first time. Everything went smooth like cheese. What? Anyway, it went smooth like cheese. And, um... Anyway, yeah, so I recorded this game, and everything w went fucking smooth, right? But then, I deleted all my open, um, non-compressed files. Simply because, you know, the uncompressed files take a crap load of time. Like, like, um, like any video is like, like three gigabytes, for some reason. That's how they are. So, I'm like, they're taking up a lot of space. I already have the completed file, so I'll delete that. Accidentally, I deleted the Rugrats video. So I couldn't, I couldn't edit the video anymore. Like all my editing, because I was already had like halfway through. All the editing was pretty much went to shit, right? And then I'm like, okay, fine. I won't get, I won't get mad. I'll just play again. Because honestly, like after playing that, I did not have any idea what the fudge I was doing in this game, right? So I'm like, okay, I still don't know what I'm doing. It's cool. I'll um, yeah, Angelica's evil. I was like, all right, I'll just play again no problem and freaking oh sorry excuse me anyway so then I, I recorded again right everything was all fine and dandy but then when I went to check on the audio it was it was um it was like really low right so I uh, um I'm like what the hell and for some reason like there was a part of the past recording that somehow got restored and put there interjected so the entire file got corrupted I was like, fuck! And I'm like, alright. Third time's a charm. Here we are, playing the game. And it's been like half an hour of me playing this game already. And I still have no clue what the hell I'm doing. I pretty much, I've got a basic idea of this game. It's a board game, if you haven't realized this yet. It's, um, you have to, you have to land on those magnifying glasses to search. You search for statue pieces. You need to find all the statue pieces to win. I don't know how many statue pieces there are. I don't know what, because I picked the smallest board, and like, you know, I've got to know her in 15 minutes, literally. Um, you talk to Angelica, she takes your cookies, or she takes your piece of the statue, because she's a jerk. You talk to the dad, the, the grandpa, he gives you a bunch of cookies, apparently. Um, what else I figured out? I figured if you land on the box, you use up cookies, and you get this card that has like a special power. And if you land on Spike, you get to move... As, uh, um, an extra five spaces, up to five spaces that you want. I use this to go through the secret sausage way. <laughs> he just said secret sausage way. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got to figure out. I figured if you go to the crib room, you restore your, your sleep, but I don't know what happens when you run out of sleep. And I also, apparently, you could trade the cookies for sleep energy. Nice, nice job, Lil. Alright, time for the daddy to move. Oh yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much what I figured out so far. So anyway, it, um, since this is a board game, I feel it appropriate to talk about some board games. So yeah, um, I, board games are, are good. Like, they're, um, they're much more different. It's a much different way to spend um, quality time with your family. Wait. Oh, that's Spike on it? Let's get on Spike. Nice. One, two... All right, let's search in this jug. Nice, I can move anywhere now. Anyway, so, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I was saying something. I was saying something. Anyway, <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it's it's a much different quality time to have with people when you play board games than when you, like, sit and watch TV. Because, uh, you know, it, it kind of takes, like, teamwork and stuff. So, you know, like, if I have a family and stuff, I definitely want to have, like, a family game night because that's definitely a nice way to bond. As, um, as a kid, my favorite board game had to be the Game of Life because it was short. I used to play it in school during lunch, and I would pretty much always win because apparently I was set to have a sexy life. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so I would always go to college and become a doctor 
because since a little kid I wanted to read that guy. I don't know why I just do anyway so um <laughs> so I would like get that but literally by like the time I get married and like five turns later I would already have like my car overflowing with like pets and animals and shit so I would have to like kick out nope bad idea anyway so I would have to like kick freaking um Jesus in the balls because you know he's a lame -o. Uh, come on, lame, 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 lame. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Nope, there's no good way. Let's get the hell out of this place. This place is a dump anyway. I can give two shits. Anyway, so yeah, I would I would end up actually I would I would usually end up kicking out my kids actually from the house, which sounds messed up as hell. But you. <laughs> But there's literally like no way else to do it. Yeah, but I would always win the game of life. It was always nice. My um another another game I would always play was Monopoly, cause we we me and my cousins we've lived together, so we would always play that game. Though as a child we never ever finished a match. We would go on for days and days until we just gave up and never like, and then put it down for like a month and then came back to it and started a new game all over. And like we would freaking. Like, we would grab all our um, property and our money, put it in a rubber band, take it up to our respective rooms, and then come back the next day and try again. But literally, the reason it would never end is because we had this rule. Well, we, we had the system, right? Like, like fuck, we can't pay the, we can't pay the fucking hotels. What do we do? We'd be like, oh, just give me that property, <laughs> right? So basically, we were just throwing out free property. Because, like, we always ended up with, like, four or five pieces of free property, and the rest were hotels and shit. So we would just like throw out the f like the free properties, and it was like a constant back and forth, and so it would never end. So literally, Monopoly, like as a child, we've never finished a game, and honestly, I think I've never finished a full Monopoly game ever. Only on the Super Nintendo, because I had the game for the Super Nintendo, and um, yeah, like as a, as an actual board game, I never ever finished it. So you know, fun fact. Yeah, double search power. Now I don't have to. Now hopefully this could be twice as fast. Anyway, so what else? What else did I used to play? I used to play this um, Hungry Hungry Hippos a lot because it was fun just to mash. Because <laughs> you know it felt like a video game. Be like ah, and we would get so into it. Like the freaking the Hungry Hungry Hippos table and the crap would all start shaking, and that was always a fun game. What else? Um, now, oh my god, I just remembered. I don't know what this game's called. If any of you guys know, please tell me. It was um, a game me and my cousins used to play, right? He, They owned it. It was like this game where it was like a surface with like like, like an X's and crap. Like it was a slidable surface like air hockey. But you had all these silver beads and you would load them into this gun and you would just shoot them across. I don't remember even what the objective was. All I remember is like you would just fire the silver beads at, your, uh, at the, the opponent. And it was just the funniest game ever because it's like, it's like you're actually like trying to freaking shoot them. You're like, ah! shooting little beads you see little beads everywhere i don't remember oh i remember you were supposed to like hit some like x or something and get it into their goal i remember that was like the purpose of the game so if any of you know what that is please for the love of jesus tell me because i completely forgot about that game um ew. wait send angelica away nah bring a baby here sounds cool but no set spin because that's the most useful what the hell's that sandbox looking crap weird anyway so, um, what else? What else was I saying? So, yeah, if you know the name of that game, please tell me. Um, another game, like, that we didn't even care about the game. We just, like, would make the contraption and just see the chain reaction was, um, Mousetrap. If you remember that game, remember the commercials? It's like, it's a zany action, a crazy contraption, the fun is acting with Mousetrap. So, yeah. Um, also a game we always used to play, but I hated because I would always lose. And like was um sorry, I don't know why it was a conspiracy by my cousins. They would literally always group up on me, gang up on me. They would win, and I would still have like four pieces out on the field. I'd never won that game once as a kid, and I hated the game because of it. Now I love it, but oh my god, damn! As a kid, that game pissed me off because I would always lose. So yeah, um, so yeah. Now let's figure out what to do. do, -do, 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 -do. Anyway, uh, I can can I go backwards? Yes. 
Yo, all these choices are lame. Alright, one, two, let's figure out what's under my shoe. Three, four, let's lock the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, close the gate. Alright, so we're gonna search on this chair. There's apparently a statue piece on the chair. And, um, we're gonna search in this... And there's apparently another statue piece. Booyah! I've gotten farther in this playthrough than my other playthroughs. My other playthroughs, I've gotten, like, one piece. Or two pieces. Anyway, so yeah. I still don't know how many fucking pieces this game is. This game must fucking go on forever. Crayola, I know you know about this game. Tell me the secret to doing this, because I have no idea what is going on, why it's going on, how to do it, when to do it, how to do it, should do it. I don't know what I don't know what the hell that was. Pardon me. Anyway. Freaking monkey balls. I forgot to check what time it what time I started recording. See, this is what happens after multiple recordings. You forget shit that you had set up. Okay, I started at 6.22, so it should be about the 10 minute mark. I might be like at 11 minutes, actually. I'm not sure. So I will do one more turn, and then hopefully I'll finish this game. I won't. Wait, how the hell did he... Wait, what the time... Wait, did Tommy just be... What? Okay, how do you win at... Ang how, do you, how do you win, Angelica? Someone... <laughs> what? Oh, head, head bonk. One, two... Three, four. Okay, cool. Um, we'll search in this dirt. Lame. Okay, let's try another hiding spot. As in, move to a another hiding spot. Whatever. I couldn't move, guys. I glitched for some reason. That was awkward. Oh, maybe it's because I ran... Wait, what just happened? Why am I here? Oh my god, I ran out of energy. So apparently when you run out of energy, you get put in timeout. What?! That is lame! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! So, the question of the day is obviously... <laughs> obviously apparent. Um, question of the day is... What is your favorite board game and why? And what is your least favorite board game and why? I, I, do, like, I do like games like this. Where I can, um... You know, where you don't need to focus too much on the gameplay. And you can just, like, talk. Because, you know, I feel like when the gameplay, when I don't need to, like, freaking be doing barrel rolls constantly, I can talk more as myself to you guys. So, you know, I feel like we grow closer. Ah, feel that bond. Feel that bond shining. Yeah. Oh, my God. He just hit his head on the crib. Someone call Social Security right now, guys. Please. Call Social some you already. Well, that was lame. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, these turns are going to last too long. So I'll stop it here. So remember, question of the day. Favorite board game, why? Least favorite, why? Me, um, life, because it was short and I could actually win. Sorry, because I never won was my least favorite. <laughs> Sorry. Freaking game. I did, love, I did love pressing the little top parts. I can go click and the little dice will move. But other than that, I hated that game. I hate. Yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. I feel closer to you than I've ever felt in a sexual way. Whoa, that sounds so wrong. And with that, I go away to lose.